What's up everybody, Chris with South Carolina Gun School and as you can see here in front of me, we're going to be talking a little bit about revolvers today. Welcome back everybody. Like I said, we're going to talk a little bit about revolvers uh, just because this is I don't want to say obsolete, uh, I would maybe use underutilized or just not as popular as what it used to be. Um, just because I've had questions around it, some people have never shot a revolver, some people have never seen a revolver, used it, anything like that. And I just want to kind of briefly go over some of the different options you have out there for revolvers most people are into semi-automatics now especially with the size and the capacity that you can get with like your Springfield Hellcat, your SIG, your variations of your SIG P365, the M&P Shield Plus, I think Taurus has got some of your micro compact options out there. Uh, I'll be honest, me personally, give me a semi-automatic. Alright, give me my magazines, alright, because you're gonna get a lot more rounds in any semi-automatic, well I shouldn't say any semi-automatic, the majority of your semi-automatics you're going to get a higher round count. There are some semi-automatics you're going to get about the same round count that you're going to get with your revolvers. Now some people still use them, some people still like them just because of the simplicity to them. But I'll be honest, to me a semi-automatic is just as simple as what these are. Now yes it can seem a little not convoluted but there's a little bit more that goes into it when it comes to breaking it down but overall to me they're just as simple to use as these i will say though these are good options if you have uh your hand strength isn't where it needs to be your arm strength isn't where it needs to be to be able to rack a semi-automatic but there are some good semi-automatics out there uh, that are designed specifically for that to make it easier to use, easier to rack. We're going to do a review on one of those here in the future, so be on the lookout for that. But, you know, anything where you've got weakened hand strength, nerve damage, just where it's hard for you to rack that slide on the semi-automatic or hard for you to manipulate that gun, this is a really, really good option. All right? Big reason being is... You don't have a slide working back and forth your cylinder here all right so before i get into that let's do this okay you've got your grip you've got your barrel you've got your cylinder so if you hear somebody say cylinder this is what they're talking about you've got your cylinder release so you push and hold that and then the cylinder just pops right out you've got your ejector rod and then of course your trigger guard and your trigger all right or if you see somebody talk about a wheel gun they're talking about a revolver because the cylinder looks like a wheel, it spins like a wheel. So you see it just, it rotates as you're shooting. So those are your main parts to your revolver. Ejector rod, cylinder, trigger guard, trigger. This is your hammer, I forgot to mention the hammer. So you've got your hammer here. All right, this is what'll cock the gun depending on what action it is and we're gonna talk about that shortly. A lot of your modern revolvers are what's called hammerless, where this hammer is actually internal. So I'm not a fan of those. Uh, I want to have that hammer and I'm going to explain shortly, but just kind of give you a brief overview of the gun itself and how it's made and everything. When it comes to cleaning, you can really go this far with it. So as you can see, this gun is empty. There's nothing in it. Just opening this cylinder up just like this, you can pretty much clean the gun. Now you can take the cylinder off if you want to take the cylinder off. That's up to you. Your gun's your gun. You clean it how you want to clean it. But you load your rounds down in here, and then you just push that back up into the gun. There you go. You don't have to push the lever. So your lever, again, you're pushing like you're going to push it straight through the cylinder. So you're going to push it straight through the cylinder and hold it. Push and hold it. There you go. That's it. Same thing, you've got different models. So same thing with, now with this one, all right, you've got a cylinder release, but this one, you're gonna pull back and hold it and then knock it out. Now this one is a little bit different, 
all right, because of the action that it is. So you can barely pull back, all right, and then you open this up and then you can take your ejector rod right here, all right, whoop, and then just rotate. And as you can, if you can see it here, that ejector rod goes down in there and will push out any casings, roll it, casing, roll it, push it out. All right, or you can pull this little, this little rod here straight out, just like I did there. So you pull that out, and then the whole cylinder comes out. So this one isn't going to fold out and be attached like what these others are. This whole rod comes out, and then your whole cylinder comes out. And then you just take it and put it back in. Slide that back in right there, and then you just gotta make sure everything lines up. Rod and everything line up. Sorry, this thing is not wanting to cooperate. So you got your little button you press there. All right, line it up, push it, and then and make sure, see, everything lines up back in there. That comes up, you've got your safety. All right, this one does have a safety on it. So it's right next to the hammer. Not all of your revolvers are gonna have a safety on it like this. Okay, so this one does have a safety on it. That all the way back is ready to shoot. All right. Right there, pop it open, just like that. So the reason this is the way that it is, is a single action revolver. All right, so what that means is I have to pull this hammer every time I want to shoot. So this is a little 22, there's nine shots. That means I have to pull the hammer, pull the trigger, pull the hammer, pull the trigger. So hammer, trigger, hammer, trigger, hammer, trigger. That is your single action. That's a single action revolver. Double action, like these two here, double action means I can pull the hammer, then pull the trigger, or I can just pull the trigger and as you can see, it starts to rotate the hammer back for me. All right, so that's double action. That means I can pull the hammer, then the trigger, or I can just pull the trigger. Most of your modern revolvers are going to be double action, but you can still get your single action revolvers. All right, some people call them cowboy shooters. Okay, again, if they refer to a wheel gun, they're talking about a revolver. 357, 38, 22. Now what that means with this gun, with it being a 357, if I can shoot 38s out of it that I would shoot in this gun. But I can't shoot 357 out of the 38 because this frame and cylinder isn't built to hold the pressure of this caliber. Now I've got a previous video where I talked about ammunition went into that. I'm not going to go into that in this video. I wanted to kind of just briefly go over your revolvers because it's something that's just not as popular as what it used to be to help people understand what options are out there. Okay, you can get them in many different calibers. You can get them in many different sizes. If you hear somebody talk about snub nose, all right, what that means is, is you've got a short barrel. All right, pretty much cut this barrel in half and that would be your snub nose. So you've got a short barrel, all right, it's easy to conceal. It's very compact. It just depends on what you want them to do. Uh, you've got, again, Luke, I mean, super long. Most of your single action revolvers, or like I said, what they call cowboy shooters, are going to have a longer barrel to them. All right, you can get them where the barrel is probably about uh, this, in, this in length. So cut this front part off. It just depends on who made it. 
and what you're looking for. I, I'm not going to sit here and say I don't like revolvers. It's just I want something with a big round count, so that's why I have some majority of my stuff, especially my carry gun, my fighting gun, are semi-automatics, but I do have some revolvers in the collection. This is just an old police special that my father had. Um, this is not a gun I'm going to go out and necessarily run in a class or anything like that. Uh, I really need to probably do some research and see what department it was with and stuff. I might be interested in or it might be surprising what I find about it. All right, the grips. All right, as you can see, this one comes with a wood grip. This one comes with a wood grip. This one has kind of a ivory grip to it. Um, but now each one of these, you can swap grips out. You can put leather, you can put rubber. I mean, there's tons of options out there. The finger grooves, you can change all that stuff, length and everything. So you do have some options out there with switching these grips out. But that's pretty much your revolvers in itself. Like I said, I just wanted to briefly talk about them and let everybody know what options you have out there. As you can see with this one, something I forgot to mention with this one, you've got fiber optic front sight. These others, you've just got regular iron sights. So that's gonna depend on the manufacturer and everything. But those are things that you can have modified if you'd like to have them modified. But Again, just want to kind of give everybody a brief overview of revolvers, kind of let everybody know the different parts, how they work and stuff, and how simple they can be. And again, these are really good options if you don't have the strength to be able to rack a semi-automatic. These are really, really good options. So again, thanks to all of my subscribers, supporters, followers. Please continue to like, comment, share, get help get the word out, help get people subscribing to the page because we're going to have some more great videos coming out. And always remember, folks, if you're not shooting, you're reloading. If you're not reloading, you're fighting. If you're not fighting, you're dead. Train to live. See you on the range.